Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, first things first, I want to say sorry that I have not posted for a while. It's been not far off a month, unfortunately. Um, not to go into too many details, but just to let you know, basically we had a bit of um, uh, family tragedy, unfortunately, over this month, which has really, um, well, one, cut down on my reading time, but two, meant I've just not been in a good headspace to um, be making videos. So I'm very sorry for that. I'm sorry that you've not seen me for a month or so. It's, and I know that I've also been a little bit uh, silent on Discord and other things. So yeah, where you normally see me, sorry that I've, I've not been about, um, but that's the way things go. Hopefully, we're going to be back into the swing of things now. Um, hopefully, that will be fine. Um, and it will be probably a little bit less um, regular updates and uploads to the channel, but hopefully you'll still be getting a couple of videos a week at the very least is my aim. Let's jump straight into my May wrap up. Okay, so this is my wrap up for May. Unfortunately, again, this has not been the best reading month for me, um, all things considered, but I did still get through six books, um, which is not bad going. Um, one of them is a novella, so that obviously helped. And what I will actually say is, this tells you what my reading month has been like. I read the novella on my Kindle. Um, I listened to five of these books on audiobook. Um, and so I literally in this month have read, completed one novella um, physically read. So that tells you what my reading time has been like this month. It has been mainly while I'm being about doing stuff on audiobook. Along with that, I have also got halfway through a book. It's not even a very big book that I've been reading on my Kindle, but that has been just um, ground to a halt. And that's not the book's fault. That's just what life has been like at the minute. So let's jump straight into them. First up this month, I read Firewalkers by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This is a brilliant little novella. It's not very long at all, but it was very good. I really liked the world setting. I liked the build up. I liked the characters as well. I think it was very well done. As someone who, this was the second Adrian Tchaikovsky book I'd read after Children of Time. Um, Children of Time was five stars for me. This was a solid four star read, really enjoyed it. A really good, snappy, interesting novella um, set on sort of an almost a post-apocalyptic earth, um, but very much not that far future. So far future, but mm, near future, um, definitely some upgrades in tech. Um, but definitely a sort of post-apocalyptic world. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great little read. You could totally bash through this in a night or two. Um, absolutely no problems at all. And definitely worth your read if you're looking for an interesting sci-fi um, near future novella. Definitely give that read. I gave it four stars. Really enjoyed it. Next up, these next five, I listened to all of them on audio because I said. First up was Mexican Gothic um, by... Uh, Silvia Moreno Garcia. I did enjoy this. I have a review up for it on the channel, um, so do keep an eye out for that. Yeah, on my Goodreads, I gave it uh, three stars. Um, on Storygraph, I rounded up to three and a half. I think it was a better, it was a good, solid three star that I really did enjoy. It definitely had some faults. It definitely wasn't perfect, but if you want a creepy, gothic um, fiction very interesting very light on the horror elements definitely more gothic thriller um, as leslie at the native narrative pointed out on my review definitely more gothic thriller than gothic horror um, but interesting a nice interesting modern take on the gothic theme um, but check out my review if you want to know more about that one now the next book i uh, read was actually emperor the gates of rome by Conor gordon this is a historical fiction based uh, in the roman empire um, and i'm going to skip a little bit ahead to say that i also read the second book in this series it is a five book series this month i read books one and two book two is called emperor the death of kings both of these books are a really enjoyable introduction to historical fiction for me. I enjoyed the setup of the first book. I like that we didn't know too much going in. Again, there is a review for that on my channel. Um, and then the second book, Emperor, The Death of Kings, I think in basically every regard was a step up from book one. I think it was more interesting. I really liked the character work. I think that it was done incredibly well. Um, I like how the characters developed. All in all, four and a half star read for me. Really enjoyed it. Definitely would recommend you getting into this series if you, uh, like me, a newbie to historical fiction. I think it's a very easy read. It definitely reads like some of the fantasy writers you've read. I think I mentioned in my review that 
the style definitely reminded me of John Gwynn in many respects. Um, I can totally see myself finishing this series in the next next couple of months. I can see myself blitzing my way through the last three books quite quick. I really enjoyed it. One of the better things I've read recently, four and a half stars for the second book in this series. Now, in between books one and two of the Emperor series, I did read another Agent Tchaikovsky book. This one was Guns of the Dawn. Um, I know that Alan um, and Angela were reading this together over in the Shell Space Discord. Unfortunately, with everything that went on with me and my family this month, I didn't actually really participate much in that discussion on Discord, but I did absolutely love this book. Um, it very much gave me fantasy Pride and Prejudice vibes at the start, and that's partially the writing style, partially the setting. Um, it is a flintlock fantasy, um, in many respects, kind of light-ish on the fantastical elements, very much playing up the sort of Regency setting that it's in. Um, I really enjoyed Emily, our main character. I thought she was brilliant, um, and the relationships she builds with different characters throughout this series is very good. I enjoy how, um, as the war that happens in, in this world progresses, that things sort of continue to move on, and actually, in many ways, war is what is progressing um, culture in some ways. Um, I really liked the way Tchaikovsky explored war, um, propaganda, um, the rights and wrongs of war and battles and who is the good guy. Is there ever a good guy in war? I thought I was explored incredibly well. A very, very good standalone flintlock fantasy. If you want a standalone fantasy, if you want some more flintlock fantasy in your life, I would highly, highly recommend this book. It was a five-star read for me and I just absolutely loved it. So Adrian Tchaikovsky is becoming one of my favourite authors. He is becoming a must-read author for me. I can totally see myself reading more and more by this guy as I keep going. The last book I read this um, month was a reread for me. I really felt I just needed a comfort read. I needed something that was homely, that made me feel nice feelings of like just nostalgia and comfort. Um, this was, yeah, when my reading this month sort of fell off a cliff um, and I did go for the first book in one of my favourite um, series of all time. This is Stormfront. This is the first book of the Dresden Files. Um, I've read this five or six times now at least. Um, and to be honest, it is by no means the best book in the series. It is, in many respects, one of the weaker. Um, in terms of actual quality of writing, it's definitely in sort of the bottom 10% bottom easy. Um, in terms of story, it's very enjoyable. It's a very fast read. It was just like coming home, and it was what I needed this month. I needed just, just a read that I could just get lost in and enjoy and not have to think about, not use my brain, um, and it was, it was wonderful. I love it just as much now as I did the first time I read it, um, if not more, to be honest, with everything that we see coming off the back of this. Um, as a book, it's probably a four-star book, um, but as a start to a series, this is one of my favourite series of all time. It is definitely my favourite urban fantasy series of all time, without any reservations whatsoever, um, and yeah, it was exactly what I needed to finish this month. Now, as I said, those all of those apart from Firewalkers were listened to on audiobook. Um, I have also been physically reading on my Kindle um, a book that I was really excited to get to. I really was intrigued by the concept. I wanted to love this book and I am pretty sure in different life circumstances I would have blitzed this book and I would have loved it. As it is, it just required too much brain power. It was like the opposite of Stormfront in that respect. Um, over probably the last 20 days of May, I started this book and I've got about 60% of the way through it. Um, this is Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. Um, so yeah, it's not a long book. It's only just over 300 pages and I'm only just over halfway and I've spent two thirds of the month reading it. It just, it's not bad. I really enjoy it. I like the concept, but it's just too hard work for me at this point in time. I actually think I'm going to probably put it down for the minute and pick up something that's a bit easier for me to get into um, reading physically. I need to get out of this slump and get back into reading physically something that is easy and enjoyable and binge bingeable. Um, 
So I think I'm gonna put this down for the minute. Now this is not me saying that's a bad book. I think it's very interesting and I am sure in other circumstances it would have been at least a four star read for me, if not actually quite a lot higher. But for me, I need to put it down and come back to it at a later date. Um, so if you love this series, which I know Angela at Literature Science Alliance does, this isn't me saying I hate it by any stretch, but I just need a break from it and I need to get something a bit more um, pulpy, a bit more action, a bit more, it feels harsh to say mindless, but something that requires a bit less brain power from me to get me out of this reading slump. Um, so I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet, but I am going to come back to Nine Fox Gambit, absolutely, at some point this year, hopefully, because I'm very, very interested in this series. That's my wrap-up for this month. There's not really much to say. I just wanted to fill you in on what's been going on, let you know what I have got to reading, even though it's not been that much. Um, and what I do want to say as well is I will be back more regularly on this channel. Um, the next video you should be expecting is the Universes Collide book tag. Um, I know Alan um, had tagged me in this almost a month ago now. Um, so I really need to get on and film that and yeah, hopefully I will be back to regular posting from here on out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe if you would like to and I will see you again soon.